Okay, I'm at 7500 Archer Way. We're going to walk through. The driveway is a little uh, a little bit of a incline here on the corner. Um, single bays there, but beautiful lead and wrought iron door. You walk in. You have tile flooring with a formal living, formal dining combo. This would be good to, to wall up and make an office if need be. Then you have the open up to the upstairs. You can see that they've painted the trim here as well as the uh, paint in the house as open door often does. So you walk through this way and you have linen closet underneath the stairs. A big laundry room. Garage, two separate single bays, unfinished garage. It's a very, probably about a 19 by 20 if I had to guess. 19 by 21 is what this one is. And then here you have the coat closet. You first walk in. There's an extra electrical outlet in here as well for an additional refrigerator. You walk back out, there's pantry storage here. And then you can see the kitchen has, looks like cherry cabinets with a plaster finish on the walls. And then you have a breakfast nook here that opens up to a fairly decent size family room. And these are engineered hardwood, so lots of engineered hardwood as well as tile. Here, go out to the yard. This one is on uh, 0.21 acres. It does have a buffer in between this and the commercial uh, behind it. There's uh, office plazas, as you can see right here. Um, but a wedge-shaped lot. Make sure you check out the Google Maps for that. Um, not going to be anything super busy, but brick exterior out here is nice too. I mounted for your TV right here next to the fireplace. I'll give you an overview this way so you can see. Fairly large family room. And you have your half bath here, powder, which is decent size. And then wrap around to the master. So the master has a different type of flooring, uh, kind of a wood-like, appears like the laminate. So nice size master. Sorry, don't have the dimensions. Follows up on the uh, ceiling that follows the ridge line a little bit. You also have an exterior door. So in the bathroom you come in, you have dual vanities, an older jet tub. This house was built in 2005. That still looks clean. And a separate shower. Back over to the closet. It smells like they've installed new carpet in this uh, property as well. In here. So and again, vanities and then the water closet. And then I'll show you the view coming out of the master. You have a little, a small covered patio but then it extends out with some additional concrete. I'm going to give it back to the master. You can see a linen closet here right outside of the master. Back to the powder bath. That then opens up. So we'll take you guys upstairs. 
Yes, and they do have new carpet. And you can smell it. Here you're walking up, you have an open game room area, which is massive, like very, very big, bigger than anything that we've seen. This one is uh, three bedrooms, two and a half bath. It's 3,200 square feet. You could tell they have pendulums there where they had a pool table. And then this opens up to a big media room, huge media room. Sconces. And then a huge closet in here, which is nice. Storage for your media equipment. And back out, this will give you an overview of this room. And then you have a little space on the landing, which would be super cute for some desks. Maybe for the kids, you have a double vanity up here, a cultured marble, and it looks like maple or cherry cabinets. Tile surround. Come back out, and these are going to be the secondary bedrooms, which are really, really large size. I wish they had the dimensions on them. Super big. Let you see out the window. Your neighbor also has a pie shaped lot. And then a walk in closet here. And you come out of this bedroom and into the next, which seems to mirror the last one pre wired for hanging TV. And then another closet. Fairly large size. And I'll give you the overview of the uh, driveway. Your neighbors. This window here has a little bit of a crack too. One of the panes that will get flagged on an inspection. All right. This gives you an overview of 7500 Archer Way.